Hey everyone, welcome to Gym Talks. Uh, I seem to be doing a lot of these uh, car uh, talks in the car recently, so maybe I should rename these to Gym Car Talks. Anyway, today I want to talk about uh, something that I I uh, remember hearing quite a bit from our famous uh, friend Zig Ziglar. Uh, you can get what you want in life if you help enough people get what they want. Okay, and in real estate, that's never more true. What happens is to be successful in real estate, you really have to understand your customer. You really have, it's all about going out and, and working with your customer, understanding the requirements, and really figuring out how to best address those requirements, right? So for example, if you're working with a client and you know they say they want, uh, I don't know, a two bedroom home with X number of bathrooms, and or, and you know with location it's really zeroing in and pinpointing what they want and understanding their needs because for example maybe their requirements are for those types of homes in different neighborhoods and they just don't exist or their price point so it's it's looking at all those variables those things that uh, are really driving uh, what the customer is looking for and then putting together a plan to try to go out and achieve that and then that uh, reverse engineering that that helps you also figure out how to build your niche or how to establish your niche right? because if you're helping somebody with a particular type of a home or a particular neighborhood or, or different things where you have to specialize that now become may become your uh, your specialty or your niche right so maybe your specialty is uh, all of a sudden becomes helping first-time home buyers or maybe it's you know the somebody says well I'm really looking for this high-end home in this neighborhood and so you do a bunch of research on that neighborhood so now you become an expert in that neighborhood or maybe you become an expert in those high-end homes right so it, it depends on on what it is exactly that you're you're drilling down on but by getting into the market and understanding the market because the market always wins right so if there's no homes out there to satisfy the needs or you know if you're or the person trying to sell their home and trying to get that price so looking at it from a seller's perspective again you uh, you want to be able to help that seller sell their home you can't sell get a seller uh, to sell their home for let's say a half a million dollars if even though that's what they want in a property or sorry in an area where those houses are only going for for four hundred thousand dollars, right? So it has to be a realistic uh, uh, achievement for for you and for your uh, and for your customer. So again, it's the the key there is understanding what it is that your uh, that your customer wants, and then working with the, those customers to get that. So and then what happens too is once you become known for that uh, helping that person out. And, and, and there is a big difference. There's a big difference for some, from somebody who just takes a listing and for somebody who really works with their client to, to get to help them achieve their goal, to help them sell their home or to help them buy that home. Because what happens now is they're going to tell people. Oh, and the other thing is once they tell people, then they're going to tell other people. So you're, you're going to grow your reputation. You're going to get a lot of business through word of mouth. And here's the, the flip side of that. You know what happens is if you don't treat your customer right, if you don't help them get what they want, if you don't really understand what it is they're, they're wanting, they're going to tell people too. So you're going to get just as much bad reputation as you are. Uh, you're going to get just as much coverage from work that you do that your client considers to be bad as you are from your clients who consider your work to be good. So, you know, they say there's no such thing as bad press. Well, I think in real estate there definitely is because, you know, you want that word of mouth reputation. You want to be able to build your brand. You want to be able to get that expertise, that specialty. So again, coming back to our original theme, right? You can get what you want in life if you help another people get what they want in life. And so as you help that person, as you help an individual uh, get that home, you know, get that high-end home in that high-end neighborhood or to sell their home in that high-end neighborhood, they're going to tell the people, they're going to be able to relate to other people, the success they had by working with you, the how well you treated them, how well your marketing was, right? And that's the other thing. So uh, you're going to be able to get testimonials. <clears throat> so a lot of there's a lot of spin-off activity that's going to come as a result of really, really understanding your client and really helping uh, establish yourself in that uh, 
specialty or in that domain and helping people achieve what they want. So that's my uh, gym talk for the day. That's my thought of the day. And I think I'm doing pretty good driving here. Maybe uh, somebody made a comment. I should get a ticket for doing these uh, while driving. But I, I kind of like them because they sort of uh, help me focus on the on the on the talk too at the same time as driving. Anyway, it's fun. Uh, so have a good day and uh, stay tuned for our next gym talk. Have a good day.